Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. So we are a few days away from Yankee Candle launching their, their Halloween uh, collection for 2020. That is going to be on Saturday, August 29th. And we had some previews, right? I was I debuted the Boney Bunch theme a few weeks ago. Um, the other day, I previewed the Mystic Moon fragrance, which I'll link in the, in the uh, description below. But today, we're going to go over all of their offerings this year for 2020. That's right. This is a Yankee Candle Halloween magazine. Um, check your store. They might have them. Uh, they might not. Um, ask them. They might give you one. Who knows? But uh, So we're going to talk about what's inside of this catalog here. And uh, so right on the cover there, we do have the new fragrance, one of the two new fragrances this year, Jack-O-Lantern, which is the same as um, Pumpkin Patch over in the UK. We have this new uh, Chile holder there, a Chile slash votive holder in a cobweb with the candy corn design. And we'll go inside here. So this is the big news everyone wants to really know is Witch's Brew coming back. It is coming back. Unfortunately, it's only coming back in the same jar that it has been for the past three years. Um, no votives, no chiles, no milk cups, nothing um, this year of that. And of course, Haunted Hayride also coming back here. Here's one of the new Boney Bunch. This is the dog who is in the same pose apparently he's always been in. Um, so this year, Boney Bunch Asylum is the theme. Now, I know there's gonna be some pieces in here I'm gonna show that could be, um, sensitive to some folks due to the, the COVID uh, pandemic going on right now. Um, but just know that Yankee decided on this theme well in advance of uh, of this pandemic we're in right now. So they really had no clue what was gonna happen in the world. And this was just their luck of the draw, unfortunately, with the theme. So um, there are some things in here that could be sensitive. So just a, a, a fair warning for you there. Um, of course, it's all done for Halloween. Uh, it's obviously not done for um, Jess there. So here is the next items here. So this is the, uh, let's see, we have a Mystic Moon small tumbler here, a Jack-O-Lantern pillar, small pillar right there. And over here we have, this is part of the bun, which this is like that candy dish that they have every year, which is normally like a, it's a special price with purchase. So that's probably what that will be this year. And it says, your Halloween home just just fright fragrances and unique characters bring in the tricks and treats it's time to decorate your haunt and get into the spirit of the season okay so next up here we do have a full page ad we'll call it now it looks like an ad to me of pumpkin pat or jack-o-lantern actually carve out some time to pick the perfect pumpkin while crisp autumn air swirls with intriguing spices and sweet surprises four formats this year right so we have the large jar milk cup actually G5 formats, right? Large jar, milk cup, awesome cauldron. Love this cauldron. Pillar, and then a, a small uh, tumbler there. All right, so here we go. We're getting into the Boney Bunch here. So Boney Bunch Asylum. We have an asylum, literally an asylum here with the doors with two Chile holders right there. Bat up here, okay, a doctor or an orderly. Over here, we actually do have a doctor, a Chile holder there. Um, this is Fall and Leaves. So what they did was they mixed in some of the fall collection, the uh, Bonfire Nights, um, and the other fall collection within this uh, Boney Bunch ad there. There's the ambulance I talked about a little while ago with the two tea light holders there. And then we have a Boney in a wheelchair. Um, that's a votive holder there. So the doctor is going to be $22. Um, $42 for the votive for the ambulance or for the uh ambulance is 42 dollars yeah the hospital is going to be 42 and the wheelchair 25. one thing to note on here is of all the bony bunch a lot of them are online only um this next page you know, like one online only so here we have a rather large piece right there. there's a jar holder there it's pretty cool that is going to be an online only piece then we have a patient here he's called p jammin this is called the good doctor right here and then down here we have um, hide and shriek taper candle candle holder right there. Here is the tart burner for the year. 
Um, this is called Hair Raising Fun. And that is actually one of the new melt cups or not, one of the new um, tarts, the single melts there. And I've been examining this picture and I don't think anything in here comes out. So I'm not sure how you would get the wax out um, when you're done with it. So next up we have Mystic Moon right here. And yes, I did do the scratch and sift on Jack o Lantern. I couldn't smell a damn thing. Um, so yes, uh, in case you're wondering here, Mystic Moon we got going on. Mystic Moon, full moon rising with warm notes of amber, mingling with a spell binding blend of sweet florals. Again, the same five formats, jar, milk cup, cauldron, pillar, and then small tumbler. That was right there. Enchanted Moon, I'm not gonna talk about it. That candle should not exist. Um, online only though, thank gosh. Um, get back into the bony bunch here. And these are your online exclusives for the most part. Um, so we do have Boney's Little Companion right here. That's a tea light holder. Uh, Make them laugh, online only. Um, Boney's All Smiles, Ooh. Uh, online only. And this piece, uh, Till Death Do Is Part, I think has been around for at least two years, maybe three years. Again, online only. All right, uh, this uh, next page here is a bunch of repeats from last year, right? The handle, this is actually pretty cool. Um, if you buy them in store, check out a couple because some last year weren't uh, level. Uh, this has actually two tea light holders in the back, I think, and that's a votive holder in there, and they're featuring warm and cozy. Uh, love that fragrance. I'll talk about that later in another review. Next we have here is the um, under a night under the stars, <laughs> part of the bonfire rice collection. Multiple formats, not going to go into that. Love this candle. Love the fragrance. Uh, candle is light as anything. Next up, we have a full page ad for Haunted Hayride. Love the, I mean, this artwork here is so nice to see it from a small jar onto a whole, like, you know, eight and a half by 11 page. Just uh, love that they did that. Next up here, some new stuff, right? We have, what is this guy? He has a tea light holder, I think. A, yes, ghost multi tea light holder right there. Then we have the Ghoulies and Ghost collection, right? Um, these are your normal prices. Uh, Ghoulie Ghost accents. That tea light holder there is really cool. Um, it says it's four inches high, so it's on the smaller side, but it's still could be pretty cool looking there. All right, let's see what we have. Ah, so Halloween Friends. A lot of folks really liked this collection last year. Unfortunately, they didn't do too much with it this year. They did improve. I don't know if they improved, but like I said, they kicked some friends out. Some friends got added. The tea light tree, that's the same as last year. This, um, it's a grave, they call, they're call. calling it. And I I don't like it. Um, I like the long one. The long, it, it was a long four-piece last year. I like that a lot. But we do have one new friend here. That's the mummy. Which, of course, a lot of people have said, like I said, is the same mummy that Bath & Body Works is using um, this year. This is really cool. Um, that's going to be like a like a pan black with like the stickers on top. That's going to look really, really cool, I think. Um, the lid is different this year. Okay, so the same concept, just a little bit different. And we have two tea light slash photo holders. Awesome, which is Brew Art. Again, yeah, only format it's coming in this year. Sparking fireflies, I'm gonna to touch it. Um, so it smells like a, uh, I haven't smelled it. I'm not gonna scratch it. It smells like a, a bunch of berries from what I heard. But uh, this next collection is really cool. Pumpkin is redone from last year, I think. But the purple cobwebs and candy corn are cooler, as is that Aluma lid. I'm not sure you can see the Aluma lid there. It is um, purple and orange candy corn there. So that would be the lid to get this year if you were buying a lid. Uh, my opinion, my opinion, of course. Next up, we talk about the recycling program. This is pretty cool. Uh, reminds me of the classic McDonald's um, trick or treat uh, bins from the 90s and 80s. Uh, this is the coloring of them there, pretty cool. Good idea. Uh, if you do that, uh, here's some other candles. Now we'll skip ahead because a lot of the stuff isn't really. Uh, too exciting. Um, and then we do have some new pumpkins, ceramics coming in in the fall collection. 
These are really cool. I like the, I like the tall one the best. Right there's a jar holder, jar luminary. That's pretty cool. I hope that does come down with the price with purchase later on in the year. Okay, so here's the five returning favorites. I wish they would just pick a name, right? They say returning favorites here, but they say returning classic here. Pick a name, please. <laughs> um, be thankful. They're a bunch. They're boring. Uh, Maple Pancakes, Mandarin Cranberries is out all the time. Autumn Woods and Sunflower Days. Uh, Sunflower Days is the one that really appeals to me there. Um, that's really that. Nothing shocking in that. We have two new Elevation Candles this year. One's called Jasmine Hayfield. I gotta smell that. That sounds really up my alley. And Grapevine and Saffron. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> um, here's some Scentless... Uh, or uh, okay, then they talk about their new and improved scent plugs. Um, I don't really use their scent plugs, so I don't really know what was wrong with them. And then here's the fan, this new fan, which apparently pumps out up to 800 square feet. Um, so I mean, that's pretty substantial. Uh, so we'll see how that works. Um, all right, next up here, this is really cool. It's a brand new from Woodwick. Um, obviously, I hope <laughs> this... Um, this catalog was printed well before the pandemic um, because the idea of introducing a new car fragrance when we're supposed to be all staying home or a new car probably when we're all supposed to be staying home sounds kind of counterproductive but um, I will get this when I actually start spending time in my car I think it's really cool these um, the set reads from Woodwick um, really good I like them and the kit is ten dollars it comes with this hanging piece right here it looks like a wishbone to me um, and the two sticks uh lavender spa is one of the ones you get the, the kit with and there's a bunch of different um refills that are six dollars each so that actually seems very reasonable to me price wise all right woodwick we got a couple new ones here we got lavender and cedar um that sounds really good stone wash suede uh that sounds really good it has jasmine in it yeah black peppercorn also sounds really good so um the three new fragrances from Woodwick, I would say, are probably all masculine, except for maybe this lavender and cedar. We'll see how that goes. Um, but they sound right up. Am I out of here? Oh, look, they're starting to push balsam and cedar again. It's that time of the year. Um, I mean, the 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 leaf collection here, I love it. Very vibrant. I haven't seen it in person yet. Um, but I don't really know. Balsam and cedar is a fall candle. Um, best selling candle of all time, I guess, from Yankee Candle. I can see why they're pushing it. Oh, this collection looks awesome. The blue one here, I hope it's just blue in store. Um, really, really nice blue with the yellow. It just, it pops. The contrast is really, really good. Um, there's that. Okay, then on the last page here, they talk about the new three wick candles. Um, I talked about those already. And, uh, and that's it. So let me know what you're excited to, to grab out of here on Saturday. So uh, a couple of other tidbits here. Bony Bunch limited one per style per person in store. Not sure about online. Uh, obviously, there are restrictions for how many people can be in a store. Uh, so I've recommended this before. If you don't need the product the day of, order it online. Just put your order in online. Get this reward, point, reward points. You're probably gonna be saying more than 40 bucks anyhow and it's free shipping. Um, their shipping has been really quick for me in the past, lately. Um, you know, I, I had three orders in the past month that have gotten here within a week, which is unheard of from Yankee. So really impressed with the shipping there. So uh, let me know, comment down below what you like, what you can't wait to see, what you can't wait to grab. Um, and that's it. So see y'all real soon guys. Have fun, stay safe.